What's going on guys, Back Row Garage back here with another video and today we are doing three installs on the truck and Tim is finishing something up on the Mustang but that will be in another video but let's just go over what we're doing on the truck. First thing is first, we have this which is the 4x4 uh, linkage because the truck has 4x4 but the shifter and the linkage that goes to the transfer case is gone. So this will be the replacement for that. Then we have two nice things in the back. The first thing is the rails. These rails will be going right on top of the bed on both sides, one on this side and one on this side. I'll take that out for you guys and show you. And we also have the tunnel cover that I will take out in a second. So let me just show you this. So these look pretty nice. I bought them $100 for two. It was a little expensive, but I am happy to say that the reviews were good and the truck will obviously look a lot better with it. This is basically what they look like. Just two little rails. One on for one side of the truck with three holes. One, two, and three. Then the other one's still in here. I'm gonna grab the tunnel cover for you guys now. So we also have the tunnel cover right here. It does come with double-sided tape. I'm not really sure why, but obviously we will figure that out. I'm just gonna open it up for you guys to see a little bit better. Take both the clips off. Should just open straight up with no problems. Just like so. So we bought the triple uh, flip. So it flips, it's a trifold. I bought it online for, I want to say 220. Shipping was, I think about $10, $15, so it wasn't too bad. So we're gonna bang that out now. I'm gonna start with the four by four and I'll show you how to do it. So what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is get down under the truck if your truck has this, which is the four x four, it's manual. Other trucks have it here, but mine is the manual edition to uh, switch the into four x four and out of four x four. So you're gonna get under the truck and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Up here is the lever, right here. And it goes down there. So basically what we're gonna do is put this on one side and then the other side down there. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay guys, so we just finished it, very easy. So the linkage goes right there, you see that? And it goes all the way to the back of the transfer case, which is back here, I don't wanna get my finger in the way. So basically, it's kind of a universal thing, it has different lengths. So once you line it up, you wanna tighten, not this bolt, but the one on that side and it was a size 13 millimeter bolt for me so basically you just go on that side and you tighten it up so now it's nice and tight as you can see i go like this nothing happens so i'll go in the truck now and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about i already did test it and it does work so before the 4x4 was wicked loose and now you can see it's tight it's in too high which is how i want it right now but i did put it through and everything does work already so that is all set Next, we're gonna bang out the rails and I'll let you guys know how we do that. First, we're gonna clean these really good. We're gonna spray some alcohol with some water on here to clean it out to get all the particles and bacteria or whatever else is on here off and then we'll put it on with a double-sided tape. I'll let you guys know how it goes once we start it. Okay guys, so next we're gonna do alcohol. This is just straight alcohol, it won't hurt the truck. I wouldn't do it on like a newer car, but I don't really care. So I'll just clean it. So everything, any dust or any grime that was on it would be off because it is the three, uh, the double-sided 3M tape. So you wanna try to make it as clean as possible. I know there's some rust on it, but 
it'll be all nice. Yeah, you rub that down, boy. Right, boy. <laughs> so then, I'm gonna come over here. So I don't know how good this is gonna work. I don't know how good this is gonna work, but this is all the double-sided tape that I have. I'm gonna use this for now, and if it comes off, we'll get better ones. We'll update you once we take all this stuff off. So we just made a mess. So we have yeah, everything pick it up. off. So now, the most, uh, Thing to keep an eye on is that we line up these holes. That's pretty good. Definitely want to get that pushed down pretty good, right? Oh, yeah. That looks so much better. It actually looks like a pick em up truck now. Mm -hmm. Dang it, you're fat ass up there. <laughs> That's why I walked all the way down. Yeah, that looks much better. <laughs> looks a lot cleaner, too. That's definitely the proper way to install it, too. Can you walk it? <laughs> walk all the way along? Yeah. I'm gonna die, bro. All right, so Carlos is cleaning up this side. We're gonna repeat the process. We're gonna do the same. He's gonna peel the, peel the tape. Dayton's gonna baby crawl on it, because that's the proper way to go. And then we'll update you guys with the finished product. All right, so we found out that the kit that he bought actually comes with the alcohol wipes. So we took an extra step, but those probably uh, dry out. Yeah, they, I mean, they probably work. So as yeah. long as the truck's pretty clean. The rubbing alcohol would definitely uh, really do the job good. So line it up through the back first and then kind of work up like this. All right, Dayton. Dayton, do the baby crawl. Let's go. Baby crawl. Rip the shorts. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Almost this just one, had a lawsuit. Uh, this one definitely. <laughs> I know, right? You guys come over here. We kind of messed up. So this one, you can see there's a little bit of a space, but this side is legit perfect. Like so dog, definitely align the back first, but you get the point. I don't think you're too worried about it, right? No. <laughs> you, can, you can always cut it. So we have that. I'm not really sure where that goes, and I'm just not going to use it. If you look at the whole tunnel cover, it has the seal all the way around. Yeah, I think maybe once it's on the truck, we might be able to see where maybe there'll be some sunlight or something coming in. But other than that, so Dayton's gonna grab that side. We're gonna walk it up. <laughs> there goes Krista. A little trifold up. So now on the inside, you have two little hooks that you just attach to the bed. Oh, very simple. Very simple. So, touch my butt right now, guy. Maybe. Kind of like it. Do it again. <laughs> uh, you want to slide it back or forward? Right, so Stay hold that. Something like that. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna close you in here real quick. I just want to see if this is. Good. So you guys just want to play with it a little bit and make sure that it's squared. Yeah. So yeah, I would say that's about good right Yeah, there. no, it looks... I'd say keep it right there. Got okay, a nice, go nice flush line down. right at the cab here, as you can so see. So then you guys can see it is a trifold, so we do have these. If you guys are ever carrying any cargo. And it's definitely very easy to take off, too, if you want to yeah, you take it to off. Do anything that's tall. Yeah, exactly. So just two little uh, screw-on tabs, one on each side of the bed. That one's already done, and you got this one. You're loosening it. That's tiny. Sure. Okay. I think, I think so. And we're good. I think we question myself, bro. Good. So now we're gonna close it completely and jump off. So basically we figured it out, you just have to undo it and tighten it or loosen it until it fits and then just lock it up and then you just move it over. So there it is.
finished product, easy install. We still have the alcohol in there, but I just wanna show you the finished product. There you go. Looks a lot better with the rails and the tunnel cover. It's looking really good. So on today's video, we did the four x four, we did the rails and we did the tunnel cover. Tim also did stuff on the Stang, but you gotta wait for another video for that. So that's it, we'll see you guys next time, peace.